Hi, everyone. This is Shirley from Shirley's World, or Rockford Trading Company on eBay. Uh, I did put a uh, notice out that I was going, about 5 o'clock, I put a notice out that I was going to do a, my broadcast at 7. I just wondered uh, who gets that and uh, if my sister got that on her email or or how that happens. Because I get the ones of the... Uh, of the people I follow when they put out a uh, notice. <clears throat> anyway, I came on a couple minutes early so that I can try to get this uh, chat working over here. So I'm live, and I'll see where it says the chat. <clears throat> and I hope my sister remembers I was going to be on at 7. So. <clears throat> Live chat. So I should be able to see the, ch the chat there. Of anybody coming in so if you come visit me say something so I know that you're you're there anyway what I want to tell you is yesterday I had my whole day planned I was going to uh, I had to, an appointment at 12 to get my hair cut in in a Strongsville and that's by a Goodwill which is a really nice Goodwill and I only go there when I go get my hair cut because it's it's further than the other ones. So that's what I was going to do, get my hair cut and go to that Goodwill. Well, in the morning I got up and my one cat, the little kitten, the black cat, where she is now, uh, she was coughing. Well, she had been out all night. That was her first night she had been out all night. And... Um, she came in, she was waiting at the door with the other cat that was out, and she came in and ran up on the island for her breakfast. And when I gave her her breakfast, she couldn't, it's like she couldn't swallow. She would gag and choke and cough and sputter. And, and it was almost like, and her meow sounded different. It sounded guttural. It didn't sound like her high-pitched little meow she has. So it sounded to me like she had something caught in her throat. So I tried to get her to take some water. She wouldn't take any water. She wanted the food. She was hungry. So I ended up calling the vet, and she had me bring her up, up there. And there was nothing evidently in her throat, or I don't know if there was something further down in her esophagus, but it wasn't in her trachea because she was breathing just fine. So uh, they told me several other things that could be m minor things. So I ended up bringing her home with uh, an antibiotic. Uh, they, they wormed her because I guess roundworms can do something like cause that to happen. And I also uh, have something for hairballs to give her. It's this pasty little gooey stuff. And you... Uh, put a little bit of it on their paw or on their nose and they lick it off and they dose themselves. So just, just once a day. She sort of likes that. She hates the antibiotic, which I have to put in a syringe and put it in her mouth. But anyway, today she's eating. She's much better. So evidently there's nothing obstructing her esophagus. <clears throat> so... That's why I didn't go to the Goodwill. But last night, I got an email from the thrift store in Medina, the one I go to uh, put on by hospice, that they were having what they called an explosion sale. Because evidently, they're revamping their whole store, and they're going to uh, have open another store across the street and put all the furniture over there. So it's going to be much bigger whenever this gets done. But... <clears throat> 
the uh, email said that everything in the store, all the summer things, which is all the clothes that are out right now, were a dollar. A dollar. And except that the ones that were have high price, higher price on, because some things are marked like $10 or $8 or whatever, and th those would be half price. But all the rest of them that weren't marked were a dollar. So <clears throat> today I got up and as soon as I found out the cat was okay, I went to the thrift store with my little bags and... Uh, I don't see uh, I don't see my sister. I bet she forgot. Oh no, there's one viewer. So I don't know if it's her or not. But <clears throat> uh, let me show you what I got. I got uh, I spent there were I think there's three things in there that were um, not a dollar. They were half price of whatever's marked on them. But the, everything else is uh, was a dollar, so I spent fifty six dollars and fifty eight cents. That, well, that's with tax. So uh, I'll show you what I got. Keeping in mind these were all a dollar. Some of the brands I probably wouldn't have gotten normally, but this is a little mini skirt little tiny mini skirt but it's new with tags and it's by angels and I bought angels jeans before and this was a dollar and it's a uh, size medium and it's uh, retails for $32 so got this little skirt pleats all around <coughs> And another skirt I got with new with tags. And this is retails for $65. And it is by it is by Charter Club. Charter Club. Now this is missing. <clears throat> See the safety pin there? <laughs> it's missing an inside button that doesn't show. But I have plenty of navy blue buttons that I can just fix that. So that wasn't a problem. So this is like a wraparound skirt, uh, navy blue, and it has the panel. It's a, you know, it's a wraparound. It's fully lined. Oh, there's extra buttons. There's extra buttons in here. It's a size 10. Just a nice work skirt, well, uh, straight pencil skirt, navy blue. <clears throat> that was a dollar. Uh, this is by Talbot's. A lot of the Talbot's things were marked up, and you had to pay half, but this one wasn't. Uh, this is a skirt. A short skirt, but uh, probably to the knee. Uh, cotton skirt, and it's a size 14. Talbot's, it's stretch, has some lycra in it. And it's a size large. So this uh, coral color has, uh, has some front pockets here. And also has some back uh, flat pockets. So... See, they want to get all. They want to uh, get rid of as much summer things as they can, because they'll be bringing it in already. I can't believe it. Fall and winter things like sweaters and you know all that. Things. I love to shop for sweaters. So. Uh, here's a pair of capris by Lee. Uh, these are Lee Slender Secret ones in a light, uh, a light denim and capris, <laughs> and with some detailing on the pockets, both pockets, and those are a size uh, twelve long, twelve long. 
a dollar. Another pair of capris. These are, I thought these were cute. Uh, they button on the, like on the inside, and they have a tie on the outside that you can uh, you can tie up. I think it you it, you can make it as tight as you want it. And this is an eight medium. These are by Lee also. Uh, Lee just below the waist it says, and they're beige beige stripe uh, capris sort of wide wider leg not real wide but <clears throat> and uh, just pockets like that on the back but around the waist is that like lace that the tie is threaded through well, those are cute and then here is I like this a lot. It's 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 a big size. It's a size Chico's four, which is <clears throat> look at Chico's cheat sheet here. A four is uh, a four is XXL. So this is an extra, extra large, but it's one of those sweaters that uh, have those things that hang down in the front, you know. And it's really neat. It's an open weave sweater. And I suppose you could wear big sizes in that. It wouldn't matter. I'm going to try that on the sun. Nice long sleeves. The black and white stripe. <clears throat> uh, this is also, is this a cheap? No, this is cable and gauge. Oh, this has some nice perfume on it. <laughs> cable and gauge. Uh, striped. I think these are like three quarter sleeves. Uh, extra, extra large. Nice long striped. Navy blue and white. <clears throat> I got a couple pairs of shorts. One real short one by, but this is new with tags by Fila, F I L A. And this uh, retailed for $28. It has a wide elastic uh, waistband. It's real short shorts, like running shorts. Doesn't have any inside, uh, any inside uh, sh shorts on it. It's a large, this is a large. This must be fit really tight. performance uh, shorts <clears throat> and another pair of running shorts these are small those those look small and these look no bigger than those this is or no smaller than those this is a by feel a sport also in a small little running shorts they have the little uh, underpants inside you know, little little panties inside. It is the time for exercising and being outside. And this was a good find for this uh, time of year. I don't get the zipper stuck here. This is by JM Collection, which I normally wouldn't have, I didn't look this up, I don't know any, much about it, JM Collection. It's a size 12, but they're all linen. 
uh, capris, beige linen capris. Nice and cool for the summer. And I looked them over really good. There's no spots or no uh, uh, stains on them. <clears throat> I don't know if this is washable linen or not. Machine wash, yes. Well, that's great. And here's a pair of extra large PGA Tour uh, shorts. I'm not sure if these are men's or women's, to tell you the truth. Um, they were in the women's section, but that doesn't mean any. Oh, they're, they're women's. They're size 16. So they're women's like golf shorts. They had a lot of golf, women's golf shorts and golf clothes out. Give a little a slit on the legs. They are white, white, and this uh, real nice uh, fabric. I don't know if the fabric tag uh, has been cut out. They only left the size on there, which is nice. <laughs> but the fabric, I don't know what this is made out of, but it's uh, some sort of polyester blend, I'm sure. <clears throat> Another pair of bright golf shorts. This is uh, by who? Lady Hagen. Uh, also a size 16. There were a lot of size 16 golf shorts. So somebody that golfed brought all these golf shorts in. But uh, got pretty, those are nice length for golf. Lady Hagen. Hagen or Hogan? Hagen. <clears throat> and here, Fior Fiorlini International. Actually, I bought this for myself. Uh, I love lime green. This is just a nice summer cool top to wear. I'm going to keep this one. It's a large, but it looks like my size. I, you can never tell if you wear a medium or large. It depends on how this kind of thing, these knit things fit. So that looked like it would fit me. So I'm going to put that over there. <clears throat> and here's another pair of golf shorts. By Izod in a size 16. This is from that lady's collection. <laughs> she liked bright golf shorts. These are orange uh, with uh, little white stripes and Izod stretch size 16. These are nice. Another. Here's some more from her collection. This is uh, by Liz Golf, size 16. Uh, she must name her different styles. This is Sudra, uh, yellow. Of course, you can see that. Just plain golf shorts, nice cotton. <clears throat> cotton blend. And we, then we come to uh, the beige dockers. And of course size 16. <laughs> nice pair of dockers. So I got my supply of golf shorts there. Whoever uh, is a size 16 and golfs. I have your clothes here. <laughs> uh, here is an Under Armour 
Under Armour, but it's a Superman top or Superwoman top. And it's a size uh, XL heat gear compression shirt. Of the Superman white logo on it. <clears throat> so I'm hoping that that will sell right away. Sort of neat. I'm thinking who I could give that to. <laughs> Let's see here. These are all a dollar. Tommy Hilfiger. This is a long sleeve. It looks like, you know, a short sleeve over a long sleeve, but it's all one here. And it's uh, a size extra large. And it has the spell out on the front. There's a little string hanging here, but I'm just going to cut that off. And it's uh, Tommy Hilfiger, New York. So this should be easy to sell. See, it looks like there's two shirts. They did that on the bottom, too. But it's really just one shirt. This I got because... I bought a pair of shorts the other day that were so nice. And I had never seen this uh, name before, Jamie Saddock. Remember I showed you those shorts, those uh, sage green shorts? I just listed them. In an extra large, this is just a uh, like a blue polo, but it's that real uh, stretchy, flim, uh, slinky type fabric. In an XL, and I, I suppose these three dots on the back mean something. Look at the, sh the shoulder. They have like these little, what do you call those? Something on the shoulder. Those are actually snaps. I don't. I don't know, maybe you can roll the sleeves up and snap that and make it almost like a sleeveless. Maybe that's what that's for. So, um, no, that couldn't be. There's none on the other side. It's just decoration. So we'll see. I have no idea. A couple of uh, nice uh, light pajama bottoms just to wear around and around the house. Pink one. This is a, I don't know, a large, I think, maybe. Yeah, large. There were no tops to these. They're just pajama bottoms that you wear around the house. There's another pair in here too. Here, another pair. That those were by Sonoma. Not a good brand, but these are by Sonoma too, and a large uh, with stars and moons on them. So we'll see how they go. I've never had. I've never put uh, those on before. We got one scrub top. Uh, this is a size medium by HQ Scrubs with bees all over it. Bumblebees. <clears throat> Another golfing. Uh, Liz Golf. A white, uh, and it has little embroidered embroidered flowers. Can you see little flowers all over it? It's nice and white, no stains. 
uh, in a large. I really like this dollar sale. It's on all week, by the way. Of course, they're not going to put anything else out. I mean, they're trying to get rid of all the summer clothes. So I spent about two and a half hours in there. So I think I looked at everything. This is uh, by Chico's Travelers. That slinky fabric that you couldn't wrinkle if you tried. You just, I mean, you wad it up and throw it in your suitcase. It's just that really slinky, never wrinkle fabric. Uh, basic black, short sleeve black top in a large. So I had to get that. And here's a by Fila. Is that how you pronounce it? Fila, Fila? I'm not sure. Wasn't sure if that was a pocket in back or what little uh, thing right there, but it's not a pocket. I don't know what it is. Just a just a decoration, I guess. Just sort of a purpley blue sleeveless uh, active wear top. Oh, and here's something I thought was pretty. Never got something like this before either. It's a little nighty by Delicates. And it's a 1416. Look how cute this is. A little pink. It has little ruffles. It's like a little baby doll. We used to call them baby doll nightgowns. That's what this looks like to me. And a really pretty pink. Looks like it's never been worn, actually, at all. 14, 16. All polyester. I'll try that. That was bag one. Oh. And I got a few men's things. This I, I paid up for because I thought it was really nice. This has been marked $7. So it was half of that. So this was $3.50. And it's by a... Uh, and it's new with tags also. But it's by... Uh, Charles River Apparel. I had never seen this before. But it's super nice. In an extra large, it says it's the pack and go pullover. Charles River Apparel. But it's just a uh, pullover, has a zipper pouch here in the front and a couple pockets. And zips up like a uh, quarter zipper here, or half zipper, quarter zipper. And it has a hood. In case you're caught in the rain. It feels like it's like waterproof or water resistant. So. Now the sleeve, where does it say? The sleeve says F.A. Zoles. Whatever that means, it looks like a a tomato. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but I don't think that matters. That was certainly nice enough to pay three fifty for. That's for sure. It was new, brand new. And here is my first pair of men's baseball pants. They're large, and they're by Nike. There were two pair there, but the one pair 
had a red stripe on it and a red uh, swoosh, but the knees were, you could tell he had uh, slid, slid in the base on his knees because they were all messed up. But uh, this one is in perfect condition. So my first pair of baseball pants. See, there's the batter right there. So let's see. I don't even know what I should price them at. I have to look, uh, do some research. Research on those. Got one pair of night a nice dress shirt. By it's the black label. Brooks Brothers, large, non-iron. Uh, established. Uh, it's not the slim fit, but it's uh, the non-iron. But it's pink and white stripe. It's really pretty, and it has the fleece marking right there. All sheep. It's a nice heavy, it's a heavy weight cotton. And got one tie. Not any any big name brand, but it's by the Nature Conser Conservance. Conservancy, the Nature Conservancy Preservation Collection, and this is called the macaw. And if you look on here, it has little birds flying all over it. But it's a, like an olive green with beige. So I just thought it was different. They didn't have any big name brand ties there. They hardly have any ties at all. And this is all silk. So I thought it was a, uh, it's a pretty tie. <laughs> it's a pair of jeans, Levi's, perfectly slimming. These are a stretch, uh, 512 boot cut. In size 10 medium, in that real dark wash with these pockets. I think I already have these pants in my uh, inventory. I don't know what size, but I've seen those pockets before. But, you know, who cut? Where can you get a pair of Levi's? Almost look in really good condition for a dollar at this thrift store today. Let's worry. <clears throat> I should go back and look. It was only the clothes, though, that were a dollar. The rest of the store was pretty much like it always is, you know. Uh, but I didn't get a chance to look at much else, just the clothes. Uh, here's a pair of riders, Lee riders, beige pants, but these are brand new with tag in a medium mid-rise boot cut. I don't know if these have a number. Eight medium. Basic. Beige, khaki colored uh, pants for a dollar. A dollar. Here was another pair, uh, another uh, Talbots that they didn't mark up. I think they missed these when they went around and marked the Talbots up. This is a Talbots Petites in a large. But it's just a nice uh, olive in that slinky type fabric. It's just short, that's all. Well, it's for petite. <laughs> that's why. Let 
nice pair of dress pants by Lee in the relaxed fit straight leg. <clears throat> These are a gray, uh, almost like a herringbone pattern. You probably can't see it. Oh, there's somebody. Hello from Florida. Hi. I'm sorry I didn't see. Oh, they are compression shorts. Those are real tight looking ones. Thank you. Yes, I put that on there. And Sue, you're finally here. Good. <laughs> Somebody else is here. That's exciting. Okay. These are uh, like dress pants by uh, Lee. Uh, they've retailed for $36.99. Uh, you probably can't see that pattern, but it's almost like a herringbone. A dollar. <laughs> uh, here's a pair of my tech gear. Tech gear in a size medium. A nice pair of uh, shorts. These are men's medium. At least they were in the men's department. I don't know. What does it matter? You could, if, if the shorts fit, <laughs> if it fits, you wear it. That's all. They're a little long. They look a little long. That's why I'm thinking they're probably in men's. And they have a zipper pocket and a regular pocket. Here's, uh, I think this is by Chico's in a size zero, which is a small size four. Chico's runs big, I think, but this is a, supposed to be a small. It's pretty big. I mean, I could wear this, and I'm not a small, small. Oh, and this is so pretty. And this is by pa Pineapple Moon. Never heard of it. And it's in size medium, but it's all silk. It's a little vest. It's a little vest with pearl buttons. And it's real pale pink. Beautiful silk. Pineapple Moon. So who knows, this might have gone with an outfit or something, but it, it was by itself uh, today. It's a pair of, this is a Chico's top, size 2, which is a large size 12. It's an open weave. You could wear uh, like a white tank top underneath it. Just a cool, cool over top, over sweater. In this wonderful lime green that I like. I like that. Here's a little uh, tank top by Fresh Produce. This is a what size is this medium. I like this color. I think that's why I threw it in the bag. <laughs> I could keep this too for uh, for myself for my new closet. Because I don't think I'll look up the brand. I don't think the brand is anything much. So. I, I may keep this, I may not. Let's see. <clears throat> Another purpley thing. So this is Ralph Lauren Sport, a V neck, little knit top, and a size medium. <clears throat> 
It's a blue pony. And this cable and gauge in a medium. Sort of that slinky fabric too, but I thought this was pretty. It's uh, parts of this is like see-through. And the back is just plain. So cable and gauge, it does okay. It's quite long. Here is the perfect summer white shirt by Chico's in a size one, medium, it's a size eight. It's all linen, just a front button, short sleeve, shirt, over shirt, because it has the cuts on the side. All linen, perfect summer shirt. It's, I don't know why they put the tag on there says large because it's a uh, <clears throat> it's a size eight medium. I really like that. There were two of those. There were two of those exact shirts, or maybe there were two of these. I think two of these. No, two of those linen ones. But one had. Uh, a stain on it, so I didn't get both of them. This is a uh, white, uh, like polyester, uh, with tags. Has an extra button there. In a small, as by Orbis, the brand I like to sell. Uh, stay on. It's sort of an ivory-colored uh, shirt. From pockets. I sold that lady's fishing shirt that I, that I showed, I don't know which time, last time or the time before, that uh, fishing shirt. I sold that right away. <clears throat> and here, a little uh, knit. Shirt, Banana Republic, in a small. It's real short sleeves. It goes in, has a wide band on the bottom, and sort of blouses out, and has some draping here in the front. It's a small, wide neck, a wide V-neck. <clears throat> a dollar. They did mark some of the Banana Republic uh, things up too, but I noticed nothing in the in the smalls were marked uh, up, even the Talbots or the any of the brands that they were marked up in the larger sizes. They didn't mark them up in the small. <clears throat> Maybe they're harder to uh, harder to uh, sell. They have an awful lot of smalls. Here is a uh, size 36 men's Tommy Bahama black. These are black and they are all silk. Silk shorts. I've never seen uh, his silk shirts before. And they have. Uh, they have sort of that rubbery along the, the edge there to keep your shirt in, you know. So size 36, <clears throat> pleats in the front, Tommy Bahama silk. <clears throat> Here's a, uh, there's a surprise in the bottom of this bag, by the way. <laughs> Uh, these are by Foot Joy. It's a, like a, just a turtleneck, mock turtleneck top. 
by the brand uh, Footjoy, the golf company. But they have, <clears throat> they usually have co companies' uh, names on. This, this has a company's name on. I don't know what this, Speed LD, I don't know what that means. And Cobra is written on here. <clears throat> but I don't know. I don't think it, it'll keep it from selling. Footjoy uh, sells really, really well. All their shirts and pants and shoes and everything, especially shoes, golf shoes. <clears throat> Here is a sweater by Chaps, Ralph Lauren Chaps in a medium. With the fish on it. This is all embroidered. Beige, long sleeve, cotton, heavy sweater. A dollar. <laughs> Can't get over this sale. I love this. This is would be like this is my version of going to the bins. <laughs> I I want to go there so bad, and I need somebody to go with me. I'm afraid to go by myself. <clears throat> okay. Now here's the bottom of the bag, and let me show you these. I got one pair of shoes. They are a pair of sandals. They're by Footjoy. And they're golf spikes. These are golf shoes. Golf sandals. Never seen anything like this. Is the hook and loop bow. Uh, closures on it all over the place but they're foot joy they're small size is the thing <clears throat> let's see what size they are seven i think seven medium now who knows these could be men's or women's i have to try these on and sort of go by the way they fit my foot but uh, there's the soft soft spikes You'll ask my son if he ever comes out here, gets his boat in the water. Uh, I'll have to ask him what he thinks about these. But uh, these are, to me, they, they, I've never seen anything like them. I didn't even know there were sandal golf shoes. But so this could be a really good find or maybe not. I have to clean them up. You know, they need to be washed I mean, wiped out. This is all rubber in here. I can wipe it, scrub it out. But <clears throat> we'll see. I'll let you know what, you know, what I find out about them. There were no prices. They weren't priced up, which surprised me. And they have the, it looks like, See that pink in there? It's like a drip of pink across the bottom. It looks like uh, nail polish is what it looks like. Maybe somebody marked their shoe. Maybe these are women's. I don't know. We'll see. So that was my haul, my dollar day at the store. And I am just pleased as anything. What do you think, Sue? Did I do good? <laughs> they aren't a dollar anymore. No. <laughs> mm -mm. No, I, I need to count how many pieces I got. Because uh, their receipt... They don't give you a receipt like, I suppose you could ask for one because they, they're typing every, I mean, they're putting everything in their little adding machine. 
Uh, this is very low tech little store. And it spits out a uh, receipt, but they keep it. So I don't know if I could ask for a receipt. I'll try to ask for a receipt next time and see if I can get one. Because I would have liked to have, you know, a regular receipt for that sort of tells you what you got. But I'm going to count these things. I have no idea how many things I got. And then I'll know uh, how much. Well, everything was a dollar a piece, but there were two or three things I paid up for that would make it go up a little bit. But basically, I paid a dollar a piece. So this is a shirt I kept that I had gotten at, a, at probably Goodwill. I like these uh, these shirts. With, they call them with the little well, the feel good or the happy, whatever that guy is. I like these shirts. <clears throat> probably if I find more of them, I'll keep them if they're my size. So this says simplify, simplify. Something they don't, I don't seem to be able to do. And now I have all this inventory. It's, uh, <laughs> I, have, I have so much clutter in that back room right there. I need to clear it out to make room for a shoe rack. And what I think I'm going to try to do, I'm going to, uh, I have lots of linens and napkins and all kinds of paste, placemats and stuff. I think I'm going to make bags of miscellaneous and put like three, four, six, whatever things in it and sell them as little as lots of different things and see what happens. Maybe I can, uh, even if I just make a couple dollars, you know, on it, you know, plus the shipping, of course, I'd be happy. I mean, it's better than just, I can't throw it out. It's, you know, decent enough stuff. And I, I could just donate it to Goodwill, but I might try to uh, sell bags of miscellaneous or lots of things. Lots. In lots. <laughs> so that is my uh, day of today. Yes, was it yesterday or the day before? Uh, Sunday. This is this is Tuesday. Sunday was hot, just like today. It's like we're having three or four ninety degree days in a row. So Sunday we went to the barn and we uh, gave two of the horses baths. I have one more horse, Echo, to wash yet, but he's pretty easy. He stands good in the cross ties, and he's just like scrubbing a big van. <laughs> he moves a little bit, but he's good getting his bath. So uh, we were sort of uh, apprehensive about doing Michelle's new Arab, but he was good as gold. He just stood there and last year when we first got him and gave him a bath, he was afraid of the of the uh, rubber mats and he was afraid of the water moving on them and the bubbles this year he just stood he he watched it but he was stood good as gold he was in fact he was easier than preacher the quarter horse preacher just was i don't know he was in a grumpy mood or something so <laughs> he's i mean he's fine but he's you know he moved around more than adonis the arab so, <laughs> I'm glad somebody else came here to see me. Maybe she signed up uh, for my, uh, my YouTube videos. But I'm going to close for now because my daughter, I'm sure, will be calling. She hasn't called yet today. And... Uh, I have to, well, it's not near dusk yet. It's only 10 to 8 or 5 to 8. 
and put my chickens away. They were out in the big yard all day today, so they had a good day too. <clears throat> so I have to go to see my kitty, see if she's still okay. I think she's fine now. But she needs her second dose of uh, antibiotic for the day. She is not easy to give uh, medicine to. I have to mummy her up in a in a towel or a little blanket or something and like flip her over so she's laying on her back. Cats are very slippery and squirmy and they can twist themselves out of that in a second. You have to make sure that you have the bottom envelope up so that they can't squirt out. And then I squirt this uh, antibiotic in, the, in her mouth. It smells good, it smells like bubble gum, but I'm sure it it's not a taste that cats or dogs like, but uh, I have to give her that yet tonight. <clears throat> so I'm going to close for now and hope you enjoyed my little stories. My son still hasn't come, like I said, to work on his boat. I'm going to give him a call tonight. And another thing. The calves lost. That was, it's a sad day, but they lost with for they lost to an outstanding team. I have to admit that they are really, really good. So we'll get them next year. I bet the same two come together in the finals next year again. They did last year, this year, and I bet they will again. So I'm close for now. And I'll see you in the next haul. Bye.